Hello, everybody. This is Martin Fratella for Life Enthusiast Radio and Internet Network. Coming to you from a sunny, springy day with Elijah Free, the master herbalist at Earth Friend. Elijah, welcome. Hi, Martin. Great to be back here again. Thank you. And hi to everybody out there learning about our products and all of you folks that have uh, used our products for all those decades. Wonderful. Hey, Elijah, we are grouping products together to make sense of it. Mm -hmm. Why don't we talk about the, uh, the products that deal with the neurological issues today? Sounds great. So we have the um, mood ease and the neural ease and the ALZ ease. We do. And I'd like to talk about the mood ease first. There's a really great little short story how I came up with that. A really good pseudonym or moniker or alias if you wanted to use uh, for the Moody's would be organic Prozac. Basically what it does, yeah, big smile on that one. It's a great formula. Uh, what it does, basically it helps to solve the problem of uh, serotonin uptake that causes a lot of different types of depression. Medications such as Prozac, things on that order, work with that. However, Moody's, surprisingly enough, actually has no side effects on it. We even can utilize it with people when they're on a number of different types of medications. It fits in there very nicely. So I want to tell you quickly um, how we actually came up with this one. On it, um, I made this actually for my wife. Um, I've been with my wife going on close to 20 years, another couple of years, and obviously I adore this person more than anybody. Okay, but uh, my wife Maggie, unfortunately, always had a problem with low-grade depression. And in the winter, it got really bad, you know, with seasonal affectation disorder, commonly called SAD or SAD. So we live in California, but we would have weeks sometimes of overcast in the winter, and poor Maggie's moods would pretty much be hitting kind of bottom. Well, I have to say, after a whole lot of years, it became kind of difficult to live with it. And I'm going, I don't think I can live through another winter <laughs> with this. So obviously, I'm not going to say, gee, honey, either perk up or go. Instead, what it did was I went to the lab and I created Moody's. Now, what Moody's does is provides uh, materials in there, raw materials, which actually help to create proper serotonin and serotonin uptake in the system. One of the beautiful things about this product, though, unlike most other products, including medications, is that it actually solves the serotonin uptake problem that you can't get too much because you can actually get too much serotonin also, too, and end up on the other end of it. This, however, balances all of that very nicely. So Maggie took it, and actually she felt better from her first dose. That's how fast it worked. Some of these you can count, this is a good one. Some of these you can count to two or three and they work that fast. This one pretty much does. It's like the cortisol formula. In one of the other segments, I was saying some of these things you can take a longer period of time depending on the effect that you're looking at. Those are like the tonic herbs that we were talking about that actually go in and rebuild on a cellular level. You know, like if you have an immune thing or kidney bladder, you know, things on that idea, digestive formulas do that. However, this works on chemical signals, and the chemical signal changes that fast in the body, you see, when something is injected into that. And since my tinctures, or earth red tinctures, we should say, on that absorb so quickly, you get the effect very fast. Well, let me tell you, numbers of years down the line on this, uh, Maggie went through uh, her mom's death, which took a very long time. She was in a lot of very dark places. And let me tell you, our relationship is better than ever, and Maggie's mood is wonderful. So I have to tell you, this formula made my marriage so much lovelier, and I get to enjoy this beautiful person without all of this, well, unfortunate, you know, depression and all of those kind of things. I want to say about that, this is a project you can take for a very long time because obviously it's something that one needs to on this. When you have something like this, Martin, it becomes, once it works therapeutically and you get to that balance, it becomes a maintenance formula. The same way you would probably take Prozac, you would take this. But our usual dosage is at a half an hour for up or three times a day works great. However, if you happen to go up to Seattle, okay, right around New Year's Eve, and you spent a week there and you saw the sun for a total during the week of about 20 minutes, 
you might take it an extra two or three times during the day and it works perfect. So I want to tell you how much I love that product and how it really helped to enhance my living situation and my life with my wife. And so if somebody forgets a bottle and goes traveling, will they suffer withdrawals or just? Not withdrawals. It's the fact that just it isn't working. It isn't active in the system. So it's not a withdrawal. It will just cease to have the effect, you see. So while the material from there, the active material with the active ingredients is in the system, it works. When it runs through the system, it is no longer in the system, then there isn't anything to make it work. You see, it's, just, it's the same way that a pill would Well, work. the reason I ask it is because, of course, people who are messing around with their Prozac, Xanax, and that, that needs to do. they end up with horrendous swings with suicidal ideations and who knows what else. Oh, yes. Now, one thing I want to say about this with Moody's, my wife was not on a medication. We do see people on medications with this. Very, very, very clearly and profoundly, I tell people, if you wish to change or lessen or get off your medications, even if you're using Moody's, you need to go to your prescribing doctor and work with them. This is really important, folks. You cannot on your own going, feeling pretty spiffy today. I'm feeling terrific. I think I'm going to go off this. Absolutely not. So just want everyone to hear that. That is a major, major mm -hmm major thing to consider yeah. on that. Yeah, just remember Columbine. Oh, God. <laughs> Is that what happened? Well, the boys that did that Colorado affair where one of them was on Paxil and one of them was on something back related, and they were either discontinuing or changing or something yeah. like that. And uh, yeah. Now, here's the thing, too, about Moody's. If you stop it, and you go back on, that's not a problem. So some of the medications, I don't remember which ones and don't want to give a medication a bad rap on that, but there are some of the psychotropic medications uh, for emotional swings and stuff that if you stop, will not work again. So you need to know that from your doctor and also the ramifications you know, about that saying, hey, I'm, go I'm going to be good. So anyhow, um, when you're using this, um, just be very careful, folks, with it. But let me tell you how well it works, though. It, it's really great. We've used it with a lot of patients, and I think we've sold a fair amount of it, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. We, it's popular with our clients. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, now, do you want to talk about the neuro, neural ease? As... Neural ease, yes. This is an interesting formula here. Um, basically, you might notice if you look at our things that there's a lot of neurological formulas. I seem to delve heavily into those on it, and I get a lot of patients... <clears throat> excuse me, with numbers of different types of neurological problems. And so that's why we have a number. Now, on the prior one that we did, uh, we told the story of uh, cortisol ease and um, how that was for PTSD and about how we formed and were granted a nonprofit organization for that, our status, bring our vets all the way home.org. Well, during that time when I was trying to help all my vets, while well, the government was very nicely ignoring me and not allowing that to get to the vets and so on, we created one more formula for veterans originally that we've used actually extensively with non-vets. It's called Neuralese, and it was originally made for traumatic brain injury. You hear about this, they're called often TBIs. And all of our brave guys and ladies over there, they got an awful lot of those um, in Iraq and Afghanistan and Desert Storm. Some of the people that I've met and uh, seen, they've had three or four more even uh, traumatic brain injuries because of the concussive nature of the explosive um, devices that they uh, use in those countries. So what this does actually is it helps to create and build new neural pathways. It helps to heal and work with the neural heads of, of the nerves on this, but it works in a way of creating like new neural pathways and helps to create uh, just proper synaptic flow and things. Let me tell you a little quick story about this. So um, I had a person come recently, in fact, we'll segue into the ALZ, uh, the Alzheimer's formula from here, because we use the two of these together. So I had a gentleman uh, in his 70s I was doing body work with, and he was pretty stricken with uh, Alzheimer's. And um, so what happened, we gave him the formula to try. And after, I have to say, after about four or five weeks, nothing really happened. 
So I thought about it and I realized I needed something stronger because he was more advanced than often what the formula was designed for. So I thought, should I redesign the formula? And then I went, well, actually, no, we have what we need. So we made a combination set. We took the Alzheimer's formula, which is the ALZ, which we'll talk about next. We took the neural ease, okay, for that. You see where I'm going with this? Then we took the cell ease, which we're going to talk about soon, to help open the cells up. And we gave it to him. And in the first week, he stopped repeating himself. I, I, well, this is a case that's going on right now. But in, I believe, about seven or eight days, he stopped repeating. Now, when he came for body work, he would tell me this. He had a group of about four stories he'd repeat about four or five times, as if I've never heard them. Or in an office, he goes, that rug, I have, my grandmother had one, and I tell her a story about it. So this would happen every time. And of course, it'd be that. He asked me the same questions about his wife about five times on that. And when I saw him last week, Basically, he didn't repeat a single thing, didn't tell me another story he told, and was pretty coherent. Now, they had dropped the bottle of herbs, so <laughs> they missed it for about five days. But I'm going to see them in another week, and then we'll find out. It. Maybe we'll do an update on this. About okay, so let me get really clear with this. So you're combining the ALZEs, which is normally like a brain function memory stimulation, the, well, we'll talk about how it's not a stimulation, it actually mm -hmm. cleans the neural heads, but we'll talk about that one next. Well, okay, well, mention, explain how it works then. Let's just. The ALZ? Okay, yeah. we'll take it to that. So, um, the ALZ formula, what it does is this um, the offending material that is on the, uh, the neural heads that they say gets entangled and everything in there, I found it was fibrin. Well, they're saying it's collagen base. So they're treating it as a collagen base, which they can't break down. And it makes no sense that it would be collagen base. Fibrin base makes total sense. There's a whole story how I found it out. I'll, I'll just tell it in two minutes quickly or less. There was just a bunch of photos years ago about people with early onset Alzheimer's. And they were big photos of them in a studio. And they were all done the same way. And the catch lights in the eyes were reflecting in very profoundly just like headlights well that happens only if you have fibrin and there were eight people with eight different photos and every person had that so i actually diagnosed that through the iridology through the photos i was able to do that uh with it and i went well it's fibrin it's not collagen well that makes sense on it so we built something which was similar to the fibro formula for that then what what we did as an adjunct on it is we went, well, so now we're cleaning the, neuro, the neuron heads. Okay, the heads of those. Then I went, well, how do we know that they're not damaged? Because fibrin is very scratchy and hard. And I figured that it must damage those, uh, the heads, you know, the firing mechanisms. So we put something in there to rebuild them. And then I put a third thing in. I said, well, even if they're rebuilt, why should we assume they're going to ignite on their own? So we put something in there to make that happen. So we had that three-way thing in the Alzheimer's. It works wonderful. If you go to our website and look at it, there's all kinds of lovely testimonials. Right. And families. So would, you say, would you say that the way it works is like normally you have the nerve on one end and then the other side being sort of like this, waiting for the signal to jump the gap, would it be like the fibrin puts an insulator in between the two? I would say yes, and it damages it also too. It right. very well damages it because it's really scratchy as compared to the incredible delicacy of a neuron head, which is firing. Okay, so, so the conductivity starts returning back into the system, yeah? Exactly, that's what we found. So what we found then with this gentleman, it wasn't enough. And that's when I went, well, we need something to really help to build better brain health all around, you see, you know, and something that would initiate new neural pathways, okay, and that would feed that whole process. And that's where we gave him that. But we wanted to make sure that it was going to get into the cells, which is why we gave cell leads, which we'll probably talk about next. Okay, so you have actually created a combination of these three. Yes. So were you using the three in equal proportions? Yes, it was completely equal proportions. The one half an eyedropper three times a day, standardized. Perfect. Um, there's a big difference between Alzheimer's and dementia. Ah. Okay. With that, so notice the formula is ALZ and not DEM. Okay. So 
importantly is I, I mentioned when we were doing the talk on fibro formula, how people go, oh, does it do this, 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 or this? And I said, it's a one trick pony that jumps over the Grand Canyon. It's a great trick. That's all it needs to do. Assuming a formula that's named one thing takes care of something else that's not on the label, it doesn't. If it did, believe me, I would put it on the label of the ALZ slash DEM or whatever. So please make sure that the loved ones you're giving it to folks have been properly diagnosed and you know what you're treating for, you know, on that. Um, Do we, you have a quick way of telling one from the other? Absolutely not. No, that's medically ascertained. I am. I don't feel capable of doing that. It's a lot of intake work and things oh. like that. People need to be properly and medically uh, diagnosed by professionals that can do that. So what well, this works very well with that. We'll be coming up with something in the future for that. I'm having a feeling it's probably more of a combination of things, just the way this band's was also. But truthfully, I haven't seen enough cases of it to actually work with it. So that's part of why nothing has come around as nobody comes in my door you know, you know, with that. Well, we do see people with Alzheimer's. All right. So, folks, you can tune up your brain, you can tune up your emotions, you can deal with the winter blahs, and you can deal with your relatives who keep on repeating the same story over and over again. So, for now, thank you very much, Elijah. Martin at Life Enthusiast, life-enthusiast.com. Call me at 866-543-3388. We are restoring vitality to you and to the planet.